All right, so now what we're going to do is create a, a ruffle. And we can do this by um, just gathering it in our sewing machine. And by the way, there's a couple different ways to uh, talk about gathering. Some people call it gathering, some people call it ruching, and some people call it shuring. And all of those terms are accurate, and you might use them interchangeably to refer to any kind of time that a material is bunched together or gathered at a seam. Um, but we're going to use a half an inch seam allowance and we're going to take it to the machine right now. Uh, it's adjusted to a regular stitch, which is how we're going to start out because we want to reinforce one end of the ruching. So I'm going to run it through a couple stitches, go back a couple stitches, go forward again a couple stitches, and then what I'm going to do is adjust the um, the length of the stitch to its maximum stitch. Some of you guys might even have a shuring, um, a gathering foot or um, a shuring stitch altogether, but this is even if you have the most basic machine that's some, you know, antiquated piece that you got from your mom or your grandma. All right, now we're ready to ruche. So the most important thing is, is when we're running this through the machine, not to um, pull it from the other end. That is going to take all the gathering out. So let it go, girl. Just let it, let it, let it gather. All right, so here we go. Following still that half an inch seam allowance, and we'll, you'll notice it'll start to create a little bit of a gather. If it doesn't, don't worry about it because what we're going to do is uh, bunch it up towards the end. But you'll notice at least a little bit of looseness um, that's starting to form so it's not a perfectly flat seam. And then pull it out, leaving a little bit of a tail here. And what you do now, now that we have the stitch, and it's not very gathered at all, is it? Um, you're going to take one end of it and you're going to start just simply pulling. And the way it doesn't pull out um, is the fact that we did that uh, very small stitch at the, at the beginning, um, right over here, and that we backtracked. So that in, reinforced it right at the edge. And we're gonna gather, 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 gather over here. So you keep gathering it till um, the approximate length. I would refer to your pattern or a ruler at this point and pull that out and make sure it's about the same length, which is, this is perfect. Um, and if it bunches in one area and it's pretty flat in the next, it doesn't matter at this point. Right now you just wanna get the length of where the ruffle is supposed to reach and it's supposed to reach from edge to edge, um, a little bit less because we have seam allowance, but if it goes over, it doesn't matter. It, it'll, it'll, be it'll get covered by seam allowance as well. And what I'm doing right now is knotting one end of it so that it can't pull out. Uh, then you can adjust it a little bit, adjust the, the shuring so that all the gathering is not bunched up towards the ends or the middle or anywhere else. It actually spreads throughout the stitch like so. And what I sometimes suggest is for somebody to um, take it through the machine again. Somebody, well that would be you, um, unless you have like a little man that does ruching for you. <laughs> um, and we're going to run it through the machine at a regular stitch length. Um, so I'm going to about like a three on the Bernina here. And we're just going to go again over the same seam. Uh, this might seem a little bit redundant to you, but basically what it is, is once you have those gathers where you like it, this reinforces that stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch over the old stitch. And here we go. This stuff is not moving anywhere. Now this is not moving at all. The ruching won't move at all. It's staying in its place, which is exactly what you want is a nice reinforced ruffle.